Transportation changes could be coming to the state's largest school district. IPS wants to trim an $18 million budget deficit without impacting classrooms. So tonight at 5, as our Dustin Grove learned, administrators are hoping to make cuts to bus routes instead. As the pandemic begins to fade and Indianapolis public schools work to get everyone back in class. Change requires um, some shifts. Superintendent Alicia Johnson wants to make sure budget problems don't end up closing some of them all over again. Faced with an $18 million budget deficit, the district has proposed cutting down on school bus routes and putting hundreds of high school students on the city bus instead. The change to Indigo would take effect next fall, affecting some 600 high schoolers who live a mile or less from an Indigo stop. And under another part of the plan, close to 4,000 elementary and middle schoolers would be expected to walk to school. These students already live within the district's walk zone, which for kindergartners through sixth graders is less than a mile from school. Online reaction is mixed. Some wondering what's wrong with walking to school if it's close, but others concerned about younger kids' safety. What do you say to parents who are concerned about their kids' safety? Who that safety is still our number one priority. The district plans on adding crossing guards to more streets and intersections. Right now, they're working to figure out how many and where to put them. Uh, if we were not able to, to get the savings from transportation, then we would have to start to consider um, those other areas of the district, uh, which could have an impact on, on our classrooms. And that's what um, I'm working very hard to, to avoid. IPS is telling us those changes would save the district between three and four million dollars. It's not a done deal yet. The school board will hear that proposal tomorrow evening and then vote on it next month.